Wildlife species require large expanses of undisturbed natural land in order to find enough food, water, and shelter to stay alive. So with today's rapid development here in Florida, it's more important than ever to share Florida's land with native wildlife that were here long before we were. In the central region of Florida, along 35 miles of Atlantic coast, lie two very important wildlife conservation areas, the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge and the Canaveral National Seashore. Both of these important wildlife areas are owned by NASA, but managed by the Department of the Interior and located within the Kennedy Space Center. They're easily accessible from Route 50, 528, otherwise known as the Beach Line, and I-95. We begin our program at the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge, 140,000 acres of critical wading bird and migratory bird habitat. Each winter, freezing temperatures in the north cause the southward migration of millions of waterfowl, shorebirds, marsh birds, raptors, and songbirds. Many of these migrating birds find refuge here in Merritt Island. The Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge is a, a really important area for wildlife. It, its location on the, on the Atlantic Flyway, which is a, a, a route that migratory birds use for, have been using for thousands and thousands of years. Merritt Island is located on this major flyway uh, that's used for birds during the winter uh, migration and the spring migration when they turn back to the North America. It's also located between the um, temperate areas to the north and the subtropical areas to the south and so these two overlapping zones um, kind of uh, form here uh, on, on the Cape area and, um, and so it, we attract birds and other wildlife species from the north and the south. This broad, flat expanse of habitats such as salt marsh, pine flatwood, and scrub hosts over 500 species of wildlife, many of which are federally listed as endangered or threatened. There's about a dozen different species of federally endangered or threatened species, species like manatees. Uh, the bald eagle has been on the list for many years and has just come off, but species like peregrine falcons, uh, uh, the wood stork, scrub jays um, are just a few of the bird species. We also have three different species of sea turtles, uh, leatherback turtles, green turtles, loggerhead sea turtles that nest along our coastline. The indigo snake which is a federally threatened species. The Atlantic salt marsh snake is another federally uh, listed species. So there's a, altogether there's about a dozen different federally listed species that are found here. Scrub jays are spunky blue, white, and black birds that look a lot like the familiar blue jay, but without the crest on their head or white wing spots. Scrub jays are having problems surviving because they're rapidly losing their habitat. They can only live in high, well-drained, sandy, scrubby habitat, which is prime for residential and commercial development. Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge has one of the best populations of scrub jays left in Florida, with over 500 families. These birds are a prize to see for bird watchers. NASA owns this land, but a federal agency called the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service managed the land for wildlife. However, it is written into the agreement that if NASA needs the land back at any time for their space program, it can revert back to them. But for now, there's plenty of space for both rockets and roseate spoonbills. Natural salt marshes such as this have all but disappeared from Florida's east coast. But because of the vision and bravery of everyday people like you and me who cared about wildlife, this large expanse of wetland has been spared. Uh, Alan Cruikshank is a name that's often used, and Alan Cruikshank was um, a, a naturalist, a filmmaker, uh, and he worked for um, National Audubon Society, and he was making films, and uh, natural history films, and, and, um, and lived in the area, knew the value of this area for birds, and him and other individuals lobbied uh, with NASA and suggested that 
they could turn this unused portions of this very, very large complex that NASA had acquired over to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service for our management. And in 1963, um, we entered, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service entered into an agreement that allowed, uh, that established this refuge. The Rosiette Spoonbill is one of the listed species not common everywhere in the state, but found at the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. Their bright pink bodies and flat, spoon-like bills clearly identify them from other long-legged wading birds. Spoonbills find food by moving their bills back and forth in the water. When they feel food touching their bill, it instantly closes. 